Hello! In this video I will tell you about Sprite Collection and Ica Collection. Both of them are very important parts of Hero Editor. Also you will learn how to import custom artworks to Hero Editor. Both Sprite Collection and Ica Collection are located inside the resources folder. They are scriptable objects that initialize instances when your game starts. Since these moments you can access sprite collection.instance and icon collection.instance from any scene and from any part of your code. Sprite collection is the main collection of sprite. It has a few sections like body parts, head, ears, hair, and equipment parts like helmet, glosses, armor, and other. Each item is an object of sprite group entry class. It has several fields like name, collection, unique UID field, pass, sprite, it's a link to a sprite, to an image. In case of uh, the image is a multiple sprite like any armor, uh, the sprites field will have all references to all parts. ID is an IQ field and it's the best way to find items is to use ID. Sprite collection has the refresh button at the bottom. When you press it, Sprite collection will use Sprite folders to find sprites inside them. Icon collection is a similar object, but it contains icons that may be used for inventory features. Similar to Sprite Collection, it has the refresh button at the bottom. And when you press the refresh button, it will use icon folders to find icons. But unlike Sprite Collection, Icon Collection is a flat list of icons. Please note that there is no direct mapping between sprites and icons by ID, because some objects are multiple sprites. For example, each armor is a multiple sprite that contains a helmet, gloves, boots and other parts, and, it, and each part has its own icon. When you introduce game items in your game logic, each item should have sprite ID and icon ID fields. Thus you can always equip such items on characters and show their icons inside inventory. Next I will show you how to add custom arts. At first, you should prepare two image files. The main file, which is an atlas in my case, and the icon. I've made these images from an existing sprite, from a bandit armor. I've just uh, added some simple color adjustment, from brown to dark blue. You can use existing arts and body parts as a reference. Also note that making an icon is optional, if you don't need to show the item in inventory. Let's put these images to corresponding folders. At first, let's take this sprite and copy it to the place where all armors are located. Hero Editor, Fantasy Heroes, Sprites, Equipment, Armor. Let's create a new collection. Or you can just put your new sprite to any existing collection like Samurai or Knights, Basic. Let's paste our sprite here. And we should do the same with the icon. Let's find where all icons are located. It's Hero Editor, Fantasy Heroes, Icons, with Backgrounds, Equipment, Armor. Let's also create a new collection here. And copy our icon here. Now we can see Bandit Armor icon inside Icons. And bended armor 
Sprite Atlas inside sprites. Next, uh, we should name these boss files with the same name. Let's call them Bandit Armor 2 and name the icon also Bandit Armor 2. As you can see, these new images have the default import settings, which are different from uh, any existing sprites. To fix this, we need to use our script from Hero Editor tab called Copy Sprite Layout. There are two fields, source and destination. Source is a sprite where we can copy sprite layout and settings. Let's select any good existing sprite. And to destination we should drag our new icon sprite. And when you copy, copy pivots and slices, you'll see that the new icon has the same sprite import settings like any existing image. Let's do the same with banded armor. As you see, it's uh, default texture type, and even if you select a sprite, it will be a single sprite. Unlike any existing armor that is a multiple sprite, it contains several sections. Let's use it as a reference and copy the correct settings to our new atlas. When it's done, you'll see that the new armor has proper layout. Torso, pelvis, hand, arm, forearm and other, like shin. The next step is very easy. We should just press refresh button on icon collection and on sprite collection. Now we can check that our new armor is present in armor list. Let's find Bandit Armor 2. Here is it. And it contains multiple sprites inside. Let's check our icon inside icon collection. Let's find Bandit Armor 2. Here is it. New collection and the link to our new sprite. Finally, we can just press play button inside the editor scene and check if everything works fine. We didn't add a helmet, we just added an armor. Here is it, Bandit Armor 2 with dark blue color. It's just a copy of a regular Bandit Armor which is brown. As you see, it's a pretty simple to add your custom arts to Hero Editor. Thank you and good luck 